So, of course, COVID-19 has had some impact on us. I mean, let's face it, who hasn't it affected? And the main problems that we've had are that the university has gone into lockdown like everybody else. And so the staff in my research group can't come into work. Now, is that not actually catastrophic from our point of view? Because a lot of our work on celiac disease can be done remotely, particularly selecting relevant patient samples from clinical databases um, and also analysing the data that we produce with our way of looking at lymphocyte DNA. So it hasn't been a total disaster but the thing that has been very difficult is obtaining material from our tissue bank because that's part of the NHS and of course those staff have had to prioritise patient care, dealing with diagnostic biopsies and even work in our mortuary in preference to dealing with the work that they would normally do to provide research samples. So um, we stopped and thought about what's the best thing to do here. Um, and we put some funding applications in for the use of our technology in coronavirus. And we've been very lucky that a local charitable trust has funded us. Um, so basically, why would our technology work in coronavirus? Well, as I've explained that we've got a way that looks at the very small differences between individual cells of the immune system or individual lymphocytes. Um, and for celiac disease, we know that we can group together lymphocytes that can recognize gluten and other things from lymphocytes that don't. So, you can imagine actually if someone's had coronavirus and made an immune response to it there must be some lymphocytes that they have with particular dna in them that are present only in tiny numbers if at all in people who haven't had coronavirus and so what we're doing is collecting bloods that would otherwise have gone in the bin so these are surplus to any diagnostic requirements and we're going to look at the genetic code from the lymphocytes in those blood samples. What we're going to do is take blood samples from people who recovered just prior to the time that they left hospital, because that sample probably has the, the lymphocytes in it that were making the best response to coronavirus. And then we've got access to some blood samples from before the pandemic occurred. So we're going to compare them and try and pick out that signature that says these people had coronavirus and got better. Because that hopefully is a signature that tells us that people are immune to the virus. Um, so it's using exactly the same technology that we've developed for celiac disease. And we're gonna spend the next four and a half months while the effects of lockdown um, and all the various backlogs that we're gonna be dealing with on the NHS side are working their way through we'll be able to do this work on coronavirus and hopefully we might come up with a way of testing healthcare staff, for example, to see if they're immune to the virus and therefore able to go back to a frontline practice. Um, so watch this space. <laughs> 